What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and today we are inside of Adobe Edge Animate once again, using this wonderful program that Adobe has allowed us to use for free. So kudos to Adobe. This is what we're going to be creating today. This is our knowledge exchange website. It's a place where you can go and actually ask questions and hopefully get the answers that you want. And with the animation that appears up in this area, this is what we're going to be creating today. It's just this animation here in the middle, having our text come in from the top and our text also come in from below to create our little effect here. So let's go ahead and jump into that right now. First thing we want to do is we've got ourselves a new composition here. We want to type in our text, hello world. Um, let me see, how are you, join us, that's my data capital, join us at dark effects, uh, let's change that to a lower case, alright, so this is our text, this is what we want to animate onto our screen, so let's come over here and center it, yeah, right there, okay. Move that up here. So we've got 10 uh, words here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So let's copy this out 10 times. That's Control C or Command C on the Mac. And Control V, Command V on the Mac. Let's do this 10 times. So 1, 2, 3. Okay. Let's go ahead and rename each one of these to what we want them to be. So that's hello world. Okay, now the next thing that we want to do is that we want to leave our stage alone here. So we want to go through here and just un, un eye each one of these. That will hide each one of the elements. So we've got our text, this is our main, and we do not edit. Okay, you do not want to edit this one right here, it stays the same. So then we go to our hello here, choose it right click and edit and we want this to be hello oops and then we go to our next one here edit and this is world with a comma and then we do our next one how and basically you just do this to each one of these We have the at sign there. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now with everything highlighted here, I mean I'm sorry, with everything named in this area. First thing we want to do is that we want to make sure that each one of our elements line up to where they need to be at. So our hello is automatically going to be where it's supposed to be at. See, as you can just sit there and move your arrows back and forth, you can see it change. So that one's good. So the next one is going to be world. World is not where it's supposed to be at. So choosing world, we want to move it over. 
and we also want to make our box smaller that way we're less cluttered okay same thing with our hello make sure that it's smaller as well and you want to do this to each and every one of the areas here so let's go ahead and redo our eye there and move it over you can also grab a hold of it with your cursor and move it over and then what you want to do this to each one of your elements this does take a little bit of time and then Now let's do the U. Oops. Okay. And now the join, which is going to be the easy one, just drop it down. The reason why we do it like this is so that whenever the text comes onto the screen it's written out, it actually looks like it's supposed to be there instead of not looking like it's supposed to be there. Uh, my son was the one who actually called onto that, so uh, thanks to my son car. And here we go, let's bring our at. Yeah, I showed him this animation yesterday, and he looked over at me and was like, Daddy, he was like, your your text is wrong. And so uh, he said, it looks like it's too close together. And so I got looking, and I was like, you know something, you're right. So I went in yonder and started playing around with it, and then brought open my original text, and voila, this is how you do it. So anyway, that is all your text, so we can actually get rid of that eye and bring open all of these. And so our at sign. Now what we want to do is that for each one of our elements here, we want to catch our X, our Y, and our... Okay, we're not going to do that. I think it's just going to be our X and our Y. So let's take a look at it right quick. Let's do, um, well, let's go ahead and do effects. Let's get out of here a little bit there. Let's drag this down to here. And then let's bring it up to about there. And then let's, well, let's find out where we're supposed to be at. So we are supposed to be... at 310, 198. Okay, so we'll drag you down to here, bring it up to here, and then go back up to 310, 198. Okay. Alright, so that's basically what you want to do with each one of these elements. So each one of them, you find out exactly where they're located at. That's 253, 198, 222. Each one of them is going to be at 198 on the bottom. <clears throat> so the, uh, the only thing that's going to change is once you jump up to the top. But the only thing that's going to change is your X axis. So let's go here. So this one's going to be 253. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we want to start this one off down here. And go ahead and bring that out we want to bring it out to about right up in here and then bring it up and what was that 253 yep okay so see then we got this right here but since we've got a lot of elements here we want to move these over here and then we just keep on doing this on down the line. The same thing. This is 222. And 
and um, actually let's jump that back go to here and then drag it down to here and let's jump it back up to 222 and move this out to here next is our us bring that to there and it's 189 and then we drag it out to here and then we do 189 oops now we do 189 and looks like I uh, okay 198 Got to make sure all your words are where they're supposed to be at. And then drag that out to here. And then we do join. So that's 138 for this one. Oops. 138 and jump to here. That was 198, right? Okay. So then we come over here and then each one of them line up like so. So make sure that each one of these are at 198. Okay, so 190, 198. And then our at sign also 198. Okay, and you just click on these and delete them and then move them back. Click on that one, delete it, and move it back, oops, to there. Okay, now we do our top, <clears throat> and so we go to you, and we're going to be, uh, dropping down to 170 so we go let's go ahead and double click here go up here grab a hold of our U bring it out to here drop it back down to 170 oops I'm totally that's 370 so there back to here That's 370. And now we go here, grab a hold of R, and it's 329. Put it right here, drag out, bring it, whoops, bring it back down. And that was 3. Uh, 329 was that right yep that looks right <clears throat> okay then we move this go to how and that's 278 want to always go to about half a second and then bring it back down to 278 scroll down back and now we go to world and that's 200 drag it up let's bring it here so it can come in from the side what was that again that was 200 okay And now our very last one, which is hello, and that one is at 138. We drag it out to here.
138 and 170. Okay. Yep, 170. Okay. All right, now that we've got everything done here, we've got to grab a hold of each one of these elements and move them back where we want them at. <clears throat> I mean, this isn't very difficult. It's just a little time consuming. It would have been nice if this would have gone a little bit faster. But, either way, it's a pretty neat animation to have on your website just to show some text to your visitors. And then our last one is effect. And let's bring it down. Let's bring it up. And hit the space bar. And that's all there is to it. Just that little quick animation. And we can add in <clears throat> and ease out you can uh, let's see let's do a quint let's see how that looks yeah, that's a lot better so anyway this is Wayne Barron with darkeffects.net I uh, hope this video wasn't too long for you about a little bit over 17 minutes y'all have a rocking weekend and uh, for those uh, in the south uh, coming in from the north anyway for the east coast watch out for that bad icy snowy weather that's coming towards us y'all have a rocking weekend bye bye